Hey guys, what's going on? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. The Bite and Beat down here, Michael, at your service today. Today is chest day, and uh, we're going to start off the day by doing some flat bench pressing, barbell bench pressing. Why? Well, because that's the one PR that I'm trying to work on, so I'm kind of making it priority. Uh, doing multiple things like you normally see me do. Uh, is very important for overall chest strength, size, and development and all that. And uh, along with your shoulders and arms and connective tissues and all that good stuff. But I'm also, I'm needing to work on my flat bench. Now I'm recording this after the fact, so I kind of know what I already did. Unfortunately, I work out at home. Not unfortunately, I love it, that's, that's my choice but I don't have any help, I don't have any spotters, and so I'm limited as to what I can do. So in this video, you're gonna see me kind of do something, and we're gonna talk about that after I get done working out, after the video, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons and kind of how things went. So stick around, and uh, don't forget to like, share, uh, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down, please, if you would. So let's get the videos going, and we're just gonna go through them real quick, and uh, we're gonna show you what we're doing. Stick around guys and be awesome. Okay, one thing I noticed right off the bat is your arms are never going to be exactly even, so you're going to always hit one side or the other, so it kind of makes it wonky. But another thing I noticed is the bar is literally touching. It actually is touching my chest because I have my chest bowed out. So the bar is actually touching, it's just not how you would normally expect. So. I'm gonna try this workout with this method, just see how it goes, and uh, we'll uh, kind of touch base from there. And uh, yeah. All right, we did two warm up sets of 135. Let's try 225. Pros and cons of this setup when I get done. down to their normal spot. 
I put a 10 on each end, that's 335, and that's typically all I go up to. Again, we'll talk about the pros and cons. <clears throat> Another set of 135. Now this we're not gonna do it. We did last week and do a ton of sets of this. This will be the last set of 335. <clears throat> All right, we're on down to 225. Get a few of these. Poops and giggles, we're gonna throw one more set of these on. 225. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, guys, and just like that, that's all we're going to show today. I just wanted to showcase the flat bench, and uh, I'm still going to do uh, some incline dumbbells, and uh, I don't know, maybe something else, I don't know. But I just wanted to showcase the flat bench. Now, let's talk about the pros and cons of these spotter arms, these safeties, okay? Number one, like they are right now, they're just below my chest to where if I were to fail, the weight would still hit my chest, but I could make it, if I wanted to, roll backwards and my neck would be clear. So I could get, kind of work my neck, at least it wouldn't be on me, and I might could squeeze myself out from another bar, maybe. If I go up with them, as you've seen, the bar is hitting. Now the bar is actually touching my chest, but just it's just barely touching my chest. You're not getting any bounce back, no momentum, no nothing. It's a dead boom, boom. So we have a couple of pros and cons there. One, you're hitting the safeties if they're up high, and so you're getting a little wonky sometimes because your arms technically are not gonna move the exact perfect same up and down and hitting the bar at the exact same time. So you're gonna get a little wonky unless you really just let yourself, boom, come down and dead stop, and then go back up. Then it's kinda of sorta of doable, and it is a good exercise to do, and it does teach you to come down and get that dead stop and move that dead weight uh, from that lowered position. So that is a good exercise to do and very highly recommended by uh, me. So I don't know who to. Uh, also, uh, I forgot what I was saying. So let me think about what I was saying. Um, yeah, anyway, and whenever I went to do, uh, to, to do the 335, I thought, I better go ahead and lower the arms back where they normally are, the spotters, the safeties. So I lowered them back down into the pin that they're normally in. And of course, you see me get two sets of one rep. Now, uh, I'm kind of stuck. Like I said, no spotters, no help or anything. And so I'm kind of stuck, guys. Uh, so me reaching my PR on a flat bench is going to take some time and effort and some trickery and maybe working around a schedule or two, you know, uh, to try and get it done. Um, <clears throat> like I said, one thing that you, that you can do is... Um, 
get a good workout from that dead stop. Okay, uh, something else I wanted to touch on though. If I were to have put say 350 on the bar, and if I and if I had these up where they were in that higher position, you know, and I get stuck, yeah, technically I'm safe, but at the same time I'm almost kind of stuck. I might could maybe work my way out from under the bar, maybe. But on top of that, you're coming to that dead stop. Now, when you're trying to reach a PR, you know, a dead stop isn't necessarily a good thing. You know, you kind of want that little pop off the chest, you know, to help give you that momentum. So, you know, trying to reach a PR from a dead stop, eh, I don't know. So, you know, there's all kind of stuff that you can try and there's all kind of strength building programs and things that you can do from a dead stop and from starting here and from starting there and all this kind of different stuff. It's just a matter of doing it and letting yourself do it and, uh, and, and retraining your brain to do these things. But we're all taught from the day we go into the gym and the first thing we do is pop, you know, you got it off that chest, you know, and that's, that's normal, you know, it, it's well, it can, it can look a little unnormal because sometimes, you know, we like to slam it on our chest. You don't want to do that. You're going to break a rib. Your sternum, your rib, you're going to puncture a lung, you're going to die. So, uh, I don't know. Anyway, I'm a little frustrated, but at the same time, hey, I still, pu I still push 335. Um, so, that's my video. It's a long video for really not showing you much of anything, and I apologize for that. But I just kind of wanted to experiment with that on camera with those safeties. Uh, it's the first time I've really done that, that I've tried. So, um, give it a shot. You might like it. It might work for you. And, and I'm sure it can build strength and endurance and, and uh, help out with your lifts. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, the loser in here. I'm going to get busy and get me some incline dumbbell presses going. Got to get those done. And uh, don't forget, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff again to me, body beat down. Get up, get out, get red, do it to it. And we'll see you next time on The Body Beatdown. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think, guys. We'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it.